Hey guys, how we doing? Good morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, we're off to a great start today. Yeah, we just had our minds blown on the good place. Yeah, we won't say anything. Those if you guys are watching, yeah. this, uh, exclusively watching the Mad Men. Go watch right. the good things because yeah, it for will sure. Rock your socks off. Yeah, uh, but no, uh, I, I'm ready to hop into the second part of this uh, of the season because I feel like season six is gonna. It's got a lot of lot to live up to after season five. Sure. And I, I still think, based on how we closed out season five yeah. and rolled into season six, that we're seeing the downfall, some type of downfall. I don't know how far it is of Dawn. Yeah. Um, because, you know, we, we had the, the kind of signaling it in season five throughout. Yeah. And then we opened up last week, excuse me, with um, Dawn sitting on the beach in Hawaii reading Dante's Inferno, right? Yeah. He's literally sitting in paradise. Yeah. And he's reading about a descent into hell. Not speaking to his wife. And didn't he didn't say a word to her. Didn't say the, a word. The entire time, the, at least the, the, obviously he did, but the scenes that we saw with him in Hawaii, he didn't talk to her. Yeah. And she asked him questions and well, stuff. Somebody on Patreon was like, yeah, I forgot that Don's right. This is talk to Megan. No, it's like, <laughs> on the vacation, he does not talk to her. Talk to her. Not one time. Which is, I don't, it, it's, it's strange, you know? And we also opened up with a really interesting choice of, um, the doctor performing CPR on right. the lobby. Yeah, yeah. We cut back to him. We saw that again. Uh, so there's this. I I, I want to see the end of this because I want to know what the purpose of that was. Oh what yeah, was the I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be more of it, right? You know, um, what else happened in the episode? He gave him a camera. Yeah, the same he doctor. Gave him a camera. He's, he's friends with this doctor who uh, apparently is gonna be a, a character on the show. He's going forward. A lot of folks are excited to see him. Sure. Roger's uh, mom died. Roger's and mom he didn't, died, and he didn't have the reaction you would expect to it. No, it was more acceptance, I guess. Right. It was like yeah, she was right. nine or nineties. She, she was in her nineties. You know. He's he was consoling his secretary. He was <laughs> that, more that, that was actually a pretty good. Bit, yeah, yeah, you know? it was. Uh, and then we see uh, Peggy also kind of she's grinding. At, yeah, at she the is. Other company and this uh, the guy who was fired in season two was Bert. It? His name is Bert. Bert was Patterson, like, something like Bert Peterson, something like that. But but. Uh, that kind of looks like he'd be the worst to work with. No, he he was like it was. He had a really great firing bit where he trashed the office, right? Like in season yeah. one or two. I think it was two. I think it was two. It, sure. It's, this show. It's been it's been a while. Yeah, it was um, old Batman. <laughs> and and, and he, he, I always love when they bring somebody back. Me too. Like Freddie, like uh, yeah. Paul Kenzie, like they, yes. If, if it you know the the woman that Don was was the artist that he was having an affair with in the in Midge. the very in, yeah Midge in the in yep. the in the very first uh, season first episode actually yeah um so I I love the fact that the the world of the story. They, they bring characters back in a way that makes sense. We're going to see more of Ted. It's great world building, but yeah. it also shows you that the show is constantly thinking about itself. Absolutely. Both past and present. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Love Duck it. Phillips doesn't come back at some point in some way. You know what? It'd be kind of cool to see Duck. Yeah. I, I feel like he kind of ran his course, but at the same time, we can always check up on him. Sure. I mean... Uh, Any kind of mention of him. Oh, he died. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? So, well, he, de he, he, he definitely was on the, on, the, on the downfall. And he also, you know, I kind of feel like now, at this point, he's kind of a cautionary tale for where Don's heading. A Big little time. bit, you Huge know. Cautionary tale. Yeah. We, we could easily see Don like that in the next five, six years. Yeah, Don doesn't seem to be doing great, and I, I, I think the the drinking has has picked up again from it because they made yeah. a they made a point of him slowing down on it, and they made a point they, did. they made a point of us really seeing him really getting back into it hard. Yeah, yeah. Like so I'm, we're back to Don not eating dinner anymore, <laughs> just drinking. Right. Yeah. That that went away for a while after he got it divorced. Did. Yeah. And, and you know, God, he just goes home and he drinks and he does like I'm never hungry. And now and now we've got that happening again. I, I expect it to get dark. Yeah. Especially in his life because like the show is always dark, but at the same time. Watching him self-destruct, I thought season four was one of the harder seasons to watch because of how rough it did get with him. Sure. Uh, obviously, we had his big comeback right. at the end of that season. Season five was dark in a completely different way, but I, I definitely think it was temporary. Don is definitely going to spiral out of control. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, and we've all known people like that, right? Who, of course. Who course correct. And the, the the harder they fight to course correct, the harder the fall is. He's almost like a dry yeah. drunk, right? When he's not yeah. around these triggering things, yeah. he's fine. But when it happens, well, it happens. And, and, and I think I've said this before. I've I've known people in my own family, right? Yeah. It doesn't take much to go from functional oh, alcoholic no, no, to no. non-functioning alcoholic at it's all. A disease, you know? Yeah, it, it sometimes it, it happens. That transition happens really fast. Yeah. And by the time it does, you never saw the train coming until it was there. Yeah. All right, we do want to go ahead and welcome guys, uh, James Jones and Jason, our Patreon group. Thanks for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. If you'd mind hitting the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we have coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. Um, 
you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You will only see and hear the two of us for copyright purposes. Yeah. Um, we are watching 30 Rock right now. It's a Patreon exclusive. We just wrapped up Shit's Creek. We're starting Dairy Girls. It's the, the pilot's already over there on Patreon. Good show. So, yeah, awful lot that going on over there. So, check it out. All right. Check it out. We'll be back with us on Patreon. Welcome back, guys. We're going to start part two of the of the season six premiere here in three, two, one. They want me to work today. I told them about the funeral, but they can't move it to tomorrow because they'll need me then, too. Is it Roger's wife? Wife, Roger's mom? Yeah. I'm assuming so, yeah. Yeah, we mentioned she's a soap opera, soap opera actress yeah. now. We should get some sleep. How can I? My wife's a big TV star. <laughs> I don't think he's feeling it as much as he's putting on. No. He's just feeling it. No, you know I what I mean? He's miserable. Yeah. Do you think this is the final wedge for him? I don't is know. Her, her career I, taking off. I, I just feel like if it was going to end, that last shot in season five would be the ending. So it's, it's going to end sometime this season. I feel like. Sure. No way in the first episode. Do you think we ever find out what happens to this guy? I don't know. Uh. No. Yeah, probably <laughs> he not. Just threw it away. Yeah. yeah. Just there. Right. Basically, he lost his own fake lighter. Yeah. And second of all, Sandy's not coming over. Oh, that's a shame. Is she sick? Sick of being here. Yeah, she was pretty. She went to Juilliard early. No, she didn't. No, yeah. Consider yourself lucky. She was so stuck up. Sally's becoming like a little mini Betty. Yeah. Sally, please. Oh, sorry. Does she I give know, you right her address? Yeah. Can you drive Jackie and me to the movies? Oh. She's that age, though. Yeah. She, yeah. But she is becoming her mother. Gotta remember that teenagers are the worst. Also, Sans, the really uh, dark joke that Betty made with Henry in the last episode about like going in there. Yeah, that was weird. It's like Betty is like in a different. She's been different this yeah. episode, last episode. You know, she's like nicer. She, no, I, I feel like she's growing up. I, I like, do. They had to put that weird joke in there to show you that there's like something still off about her. Right. You oh, know? yeah. You have not aged a day. <laughs> oh, Roger. Oh, it's nice of Jane to come. Yeah. Have her ring. I don't know if you want it back. What am I going to do with it? For Margaret, or... I don't know, to bury her in it? We already burned her. You know, if you're going to cremate somebody, they probably do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bob Benson, SCDP. Who the hell is that? That's from us. Daddy? He was the guy that came on really strong with Don in the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for coming. God, she is all kinds of trouble, isn't she? Oh my God. Yeah. Harry just looks gross now. He does. <laughs> that hair doesn't work on him. The sideburns, all of it. That's yeah, just a weird combo. Looks... You're just in time. How many funerals have you been to today? Excuse me? Oh, Tom's wasted. My regards to Megan. Rumor has it they're going to move her to four days a week. Legend has it. Is he tanked? Wow. He is tanked. I can't believe he's tanked funeral. already. Words to say. I insist. Of course. Why don't you roll on over here? <laughs> Mona's in the house. Yeah. It's really nice of them to come. I, I really believe that. Yeah. Devoting herself to one man, but loving another. That what? was Roger. Oh. That's you. That's you. When Roger <laughs> Sterling Sr.'s brief time. Did he black out? I think so. Not talk to her without hearing about his achievements. His He's going to belch or. His pass out he looks he looks like he's gonna pass out my heart is full because my son is my sunshine <laughs> yeah. yeah oh he just yep he popped yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry that's embarrassing that's so embarrassing where were you i'm sorry but is that man all right what's he doing here what you heard me can we get someone Upset everybody is? Roger, stop. Stop at this minute. You shouldn't have brought him. Daddy, please. This is my funeral. You know what? Party's over. That went terrible. Wow. Thanks, Don. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like Don, Don, Don triggered yeah. Yeah. Roger there. He just blew a funeral. Thank you. Like, we got I, right like, into it then, didn't we? Like yeah. I said, man, 
functioning alcoholic and non-functioning real fast. Yep. She ran away to New York, didn't she? It's a bold choice to just start hitting the liquor first thing in the morning, though. Like, oh my god. How do they not all have, like, cirrhosis? <laughs> you know? Right. Well, you think he could, he would know his limits at this point. <sighs> You're the one who brought him. I'm talking about Don. Huh. He's just saying what everybody else was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's dead. I know, Roger. Oh, he's still trying to process. Yeah. yeah. Different ways. I feel like she always wanted to spend time with me, and I never did. That everybody feels like that when yeah. somebody goes. Yeah. You should spend more time with her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have only seen his daughter. It's been a while. Yeah. Since a wedding, maybe. Yeah. Season two. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You look great. You'd be soothing. Oh. Soothe yourself. <laughs> yeah, Roger, that was a pathetic swing there. Yeah. She'll let him have it though, because he's grieving. <laughs> right. I like to like soothe yourself. <laughs> I've been there though, like where it's like you're at the funeral, you don't feel anything, and then like months later, all of a sudden, it just hits you. Sure. And you're like what is happening? You know. I don't like to think about it. Well, you must have seen something. I guess there was a light. Is it like a hot tropical sunshine? I don't know. Here in the ocean. You are a wreck. See all right? He'll be fine. Give the man a buck. <laughs> you know. I'm trying to unpack the themes there. Did you hear the ocean? Was there a light? Was it like tropical well, paradise? He yeah. was just there reading Dante's Inferno. Uh, right. May I? Door's always open, man. It's kind of nice that she's out here looking for this girl. No, it really is. This must be like a squatter's building. It's This is the juxtaposition, though, because you watch Miss Maisel, this would be like romanticized. Now, right. Look how awful this yeah. looks, you know? You be careful, Betty. You're going to get mugged out here. Oh, yeah, this is definitely squatters. New York's finest. Yeah, this looks awful. Yeah, this is this is some Jesse Pinkman plays, <laughs> hangouts in Breaking yeah. Bad. Mr. White. Well, uh, what are you, some kind of social worker? A violin teacher? <laughs> Maybe she sold it? I don't know. I'm assuming she sold it. Hold on. I think there's an army knife by the bed. Ah, uh, this is so gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get dysentery from that slush. Yeah. I'm getting hepatitis just looking at it. <laughs> I know he'd like to make it on his own, but... I'd have to see something on paper. Oh, he's got that, believe me. Oh. Good. You're gonna have to do it to spend some time with your daughter. Yeah. Also, it's not a bad idea. I mean, like, spoiler alert, here we are. Right. Refrigeration worked out. Yeah, <laughs> refrigeration worked out, yeah. To go see if there's any kitchen. Sorry, Raj, you have to come up with Tony Grant. <laughs> He's got it. Daughter. He's got it. Right. It, what, last season, one of my favorite bits was him just dishing out money to everybody. You're right. To get what he wants That's in the true. office. I think she was afraid you'd think she was stealing. Sweet. I'll come get you. Can't escape that, huh? All yeah, right. It's his parents. I love how they use objects to show that, you know? Yeah. Oh, we have to see the goulage too? Gross. <sighs> Even him just holding his hands over it, I'm so yeah. grossed out right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw her. She sold it to me. She's trying to get on a thread to go to California. Oh my god. Why are you being so rude? Why can't you leave her be? It kills you to be out of control. Well, someone needs to control this mess. Yeah. Yeah, you're a goodie, I can tell. Yeah. Look I'm actually this. feeling bad for Just got 80 bucks. her right now. What are you going to do with a violin? I'm going to learn how to play it. Because it's so easy. Good for her. Yeah, I'm on Betty's side. I am too. Well, uh, and also, yeah, he just stole the girl's violin. Pretty much. I don't know if she'll actually find her. Well, she's back home. I don't know if that's the end of it. Yeah. I don't I don't see Betty going to California. No. Damn it. How many times do I have to say this? I don't feel anything. Just acknowledging that life, unlike this analysis, will eventually end. Mercy <laughs> God, Roger. Yeah, he's had that existential crisis. Yes, he is. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Good morning, Ken. 
his arc that was yeah. the most interesting, though. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, sure. since 50 LSD, he's been on this weird track. Work and go back to your office. Sitting out here makes people think you have nothing to do. And I suspect you're hoping it's the opposite. So Ken's oh, Ken, a little Ken, crappy Ken, now, Ken, too. Well, Ken took that as, as, as a threat of some kind. Well, we just saw that, like, he's always been the nicest guy. Time to catch up on my phone calls. I think this guy seems okay. I mean, like, that was just uh, yeah. it was a nice gesture. It was. Yeah. So, they what happened to him? He got off the plane. <laughs> from a, he's killing himself. I don't think they show it, but he's going to swim out until he can't swim back. No. I've not seen that either. A star is born. Does that? No. I don't think that's... I don't know. I think there's several versions of sure. the film. I didn't think James Mason was one of them. Oh, man. It's just his footprints. What happened to him? I think, and I think people might think, that he died. <laughs> well, heaven's a little morbid. How do you get to heaven? Something terrible has to happen. No, oh, Don. Don's not doing well here. No. Nope. Does that make you think of suicide? Of course. I just feel great about it. <laughs> I mean, you can get it. It does. Yeah. It's like doing all of your clothes all going yeah. towards the ocean. The footsteps. Yeah. So I guess maybe he is that depressed where like yeah. he's not even realizing like, that he it looks like he's gonna kill himself. Yeah, he does, that doesn't realize that he, that's what he's projecting. Yeah. Some fans at midnight. It's a party. They can't bring the whole party here. I'll stay. Henry's a whole vibe right now. He is, isn't he? That sweater. Eating a chicken leg, that's how I'm trying to be. <laughs> He's wearing a sweater over a turtleneck, leaning on a counter, eating a chicken leg. That's awesome. So? Oh, she's wow. nice. I didn't recognize her at first. What happened to you? Change, oh. change your hair up. Looks nice. Getting called out by the hippie. She got in her head, too. Yeah. Oh. Giorgio died. His family sent over a shoeshine kit because you were the only one who called about him. Oh. I didn't ask. That's not going to help Roger at all. Right. <laughs> it's just such he lost his mom and his shoe shiner. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, so this is the one that finally That's gets the catalyst. down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all die, man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> It's interesting that this is what it took. It's always the most random things. Yeah. You know, it just builds up and builds and builds. There has to be a release. Beautiful fondue pot. Where'd you get it? Bloomingdale. Oh, I recognize that actress. Not everything. Tell the story. Linda Cardellini, I think. She was the one. Uh, oh. The bald guy's wife. Okay. The doctor's wife. There. Shoplifting? Yeah, her. Oh, okay. I, I didn't recognize her. She was Velma, the live action Scooby Doo. I did not see that. Tons of other stuff. We're having such a good time. I felt that up. I want to go to Hawaii. Is this back when people did slideshows of their vacations for their to torture I their friends? Bet you any money, yeah. Yeah. He's got a carousel. Yes, he does. <sighs> Isn't it incredible? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there is something a lot cooler about this because sure. it, it, i don't know this is about the depth with the film sure you know, it, this looks better they look good i just can't imagine thinking anybody would be interested yeah you think it's good makes me smile more than the original do you want to see that is there a tension there I, there was the lingering uh, yeah thank you happy new year yep Ted's not a bad Ted, Ted does not seem like the worst. No. Midnight. It's one. <laughs> we missed it. Surprised that he fireworks. Or Dave and Kathy. Ironically, everyone's drunk except Don at this one. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. He said practice. Right. Oh, um, Arnie, it's a service. Mm. Yeah, his tolerance is so high, too. Like, how much was he drinking the day of the funeral? Seriously. All right, tell them I'm on my way. Duty calls. They can't. He's been drinking on New Year's. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's different times, I guess. 
If you're on call, you don't get to drink. Somebody make the doctor some coffee. <laughs> right. Fine. You get paid to think about things they don't want to think about, and I get paid to not think about them. People will do anything to alleviate their anxiety. Is that Julie Corbett? Yeah, actually, yeah. I want to see this guy ski in the snow. <laughs> ski down the streets of New York. <laughs> ski. Johnny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Ski pole walking yeah. through Manhattan. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny, but it is. <laughs> oh, man. The subway's not running? Maybe he's going to the subway. It'd probably take forever to get there. That's true. They're packed, you know? <laughs> Oh, oh when did this happen? We were not clued into this. Oh, this sucks. Yeah. Well, dang. I hate this. She's a big enough actress. I was like, okay. She gave me Dante. She gave me Dante. Oh. So this has been going on a while. I guess so. Could you imagine being friends with a guy like that and then doing that? No. That's gross i mean it's it's always gross when he has an affair but for some reason i maybe i'm being really picky here but i, I feel like that really ratchets up how how gross he is a it lot. also explains why he's friends with this guy you know what i mean like i, I just guess, didn't know he's just using him for his wife that's it's so gross so this this is going to be what ends it with megan I, I assumed it'd be her work but that should be out. Megan isn't she's so dumb. Great. She's so. She's so great and yeah. like lovely and just nice and pure. Yeah. What? It, it's something so broken in him. Like, what are you not getting from Megan? What were you getting from Betty? It's him. Yeah. It's, oh. it's, it's just totally Tuna. him. Yeah. Happy freaking New Year. Okay, so his downward spiral is definitely it was a happening. great reveal, though. Yeah, it was. The camera pan from the hand to the to being somebody else. Well, it, it it was so great that like we always we generally see the beginning of him mm -hmm. with him, except for the first episode, the pilot. Sure. We see the beginning of his affairs and how they kind of start, yeah. and we kind of jump into the middle of this. And one. she gave him the Dante. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just curious to. See. <sighs> The opening of the of this epi of the first episode, I, we can just call it the episode. Yeah, because it's it two parts. parts so yeah. Two, yeah, it was it was a two hour episode. So the opening of the of the episode with the doctor resuscitating somebody, right? And then we cut to Don on the beach, almost like he's dead. You know what I mean? And then they kind of not not saying that like it was him, but like they cut to the, to the beach like it like he's dead. It's just an interesting choice. And then he's reading Dante, and even with the um, the the pitch, right? Right. It's like there's this weird like gloom like heavy gloom of like death over the episode you know and it's like i wonder why they're making that choice i, I don't know if it's just and even with roger's mom dying you know like i don't know if it's like the fallout of lane and him dealing with adam still or what it is but he's de certainly depressed like he's yeah certainly no, headed no he dark, is uh, got a dark path he's he's cheating again he's drinking like a yeah. fish. Yeah, I, I sure. I, I don't know after this this two parter that I can say. Maybe I'm much, reading that wrong. But maybe, maybe. And, I, and I don't know. I was just gonna say, I don't know after this the, the pilot here or not the pilot the premiere. Yeah. Um, that I can really say where I think they're going with this. The only thing I feel pretty confident in is that Don is circling the drain. Sure. On on, on some level. No, I certainly don't mean that he's gonna, but, going to die. No, no, no. I I, I, I don't mean that at all. I'm I'm just, I'm just saying I have no idea where they're going. Yeah. Right now. It's just it's just too early, and they didn't reveal too it's a, much there. It's a show where you you just trust the process because, right. like you know, they they plant seeds early on in the sure. season. You know, they they lay hints to where it's going, and I feel like, especially after season four, um, there's always huge revelations from sure. season, in each season, right? right. Like there's yeah. this huge payoff, and so I'm excited to see what that is. I'm gonna enjoy the road getting there because right. like every episode of the last season I enjoyed thoroughly. Uh, every episode, of every season, really, the show's fantastic. Um, but I want to know what's what's up. I mean, I, I feel like when I saw that actress playing uh, the doctor's wife, which I don't sure. know if we caught her name or not. Uh, I, I don't think I did. Let us know, guys. I'm just loving Cardellini. Um, I was like, oh, okay, she's on the show. It's kind of an interesting choice to cast her, who's a pretty well-known actress, as a supporting character like that. Not even a supporting character, just kind of like a background sure. character. And then having that revelation of her being, you know, the mistress. mistress. Yeah. Um, 
I, I'm assuming that's going to blow up the relationship, right? Yeah. Between Don's drinking, her career, Megan's career taking off, and Don reverting back to all of his old bad habits. Yeah. It's it's Betty all over again. I want to see if they drag it out until the last episode of the season, or if it will be like a midway point. We're done. Don goes down this dark pit, and then he has to kind of like pull himself out of it, or even ends with like a what now situation going sure. into the final season. Yeah, I, I think Megan leaves him. I think you're right. I, yeah. I, I do think that that's going to be a thing is once he loses Megan, because he was a wreck when he didn't have Betty anymore, right? Yeah. Remember, like he was. Just, remember he was paying women and you know sure all kinds of all, all kinds of self-destructive stuff wasn't taking care of himself um until he started to yeah um and i think losing peggy his sense of existential dread finally you know facing lane yeah. which is making it which is making him face adam his alcoholism's kicking back up he's his got a lot cheating's of kicking back up guilt I yeah think. he does and I, and i think it's all going to come to a head and i think once megan's out of the picture and megan will most certainly be out of the picture i think that's going to be like the the final nail in the coffin sure. of, of 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 what holds them together well i'm also trying to think too in context of where the show is so we obviously have this season plus one more right um which i don't want to get ahead of myself or anything but i feel like the second to last season always almost always serves as some kind of setup right a setup for where we end the show yeah and so i i want to look at this in context without 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 jumping the gun i don't want to skip ahead i want the show to go on forever sure. i mean we, i mean we obviously we still have like 25 episodes but, left but from right. like a storytelling sure. perspective we're, we're heading in, we're heading a direction important. right yeah. yeah absolutely um so and i think this is going to be some sort of fall i i really do i think this whole season is going to end in some sort of that I don't want to say disaster, but I feel like it's going to be an, it's going to be really important for the show. Do you think by the time we get done with the show, Don's still working into his job in advertising? Or I don't, I don't mean I don't like know. he gets fired because he's a partner, but do you think maybe he just decides this isn't the life? For I him think anything's possible, especially right. with final seasons. And, sure. Uh, spoiler: We're also not that far into it, but like uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, we're that we're in the final season of that show. We've watched one episode, and it already feels different. You know yeah, I mean? we don't know. We don't. And they're making bold right. choices with it. Yeah. Would not be surprised, this being the greatest show ever, sure. that they do make some pretty bold choices in the final season. But right. what happens in this season is going to dictate that. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm almost 100% sure that it's gonna, it's not going to end the same way it has before. This cheating situation is not going to end like it used to for Don. This is, yeah, I don't feel like this is a Don gets away with having a mistress for a while again. No. I really don't. I don't either. Um, I, I, it's not going to be Betty 2.0. It's going to be... Well, it, it, it's it's the same in the sense that like he's doing the same thing, but the end game is not going to be the same at all. I well, think. he's it, here, the interesting thing is he's not doing the same thing. Remember the old rules for Don were oh, somebody it, it, somebody it, it, the, far away, far away. Yeah, this person lives one floor be- below beneath him. him. Yeah. He's friends with the guy's husband. Yep. The, his wife is friendly with with the woman he's having an affair with. Yeah, there is a zero percent chance that he just gets away with this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's way too close to home. Right? It's, it's, it's Schwarzenegger yeah. and the nanny, you know? You're, it's, 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 it is too close to home. It, is, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. How, I wonder how long they can play that out. But it's already been happening for a while. Absolutely. So we're going to see it. We're oh, gonna, yeah. She's gonna find out soon. I feel like. Yeah, I I feel like this is this is Don doing what Don does best. He's blowing up his own life. He's also way careless now. Like he's he's very. This is careless. The meeting, like, right. He he the meeting ep- uh, when he was pitching the hotel idea and he wasn't know, doing good. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of Peggy when she was pitching Heinz. When she chased him out of the building and they yeah. were done with her. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. I think there might be an intervention coming from Don at some point. I hope so. Because it's like, well, you you got drunk, you got bla- you, you got blasted drunk and vomited at my sure. mom's funeral, and then you come in and blow this meeting. And Roger's always been the one to kind of check him. Right. Roger's not in a good headspace right now either. Someone's going to have to check Don. It might be Pete. He doesn't respect Pete, though. That's the thing. Is it like, and also, I don't know, maybe. Pete, Pete is kind of like the fixer, so to speak. Like, he's just kind of like, hey, focus up. This is what he, he handles a lot of things. Yeah, I think, jobs. yeah. Pete is a handler of of, of a lot. You he know, kind of recognizes right. that as his role, right? Like, sure. even though he sucks outside of the work, uh, outside of the office too, and he does, he's good at his job at least. Right? No, he. I think he recognizes the fact yeah. that he's he's a minor partner working with a bunch of toddlers who are over hundred percent, but right. he's a toddler as well. But right, the three the three uh, senior partners watched him get beat up by Lane. <laughs> you know, in the, in the office. I, I feel like yeah, some respect was lost for Pete. For right. Sure. And right. So Don's probably not going to want to listen to him. However, um, he's going to have to listen to somebody. He's going to have to. Uh, I, I am very interested to see where the Ken storyline goes. 
because with with Bob, yeah, yeah, because it was kind of out of character for Ken to just kind of like he did feel intimidated or I, not intimidated, but like but threatened in some way. Yeah, he was threatened. I, I think the simple fact that, that it, it seems like Bob's making a, an advance play. Sure. Well, but also he's got some, something up his sleeve as well. Because last season, I think it was the finale, we saw Ken say, "I don't want Pete to, to have any oversight over this. This is my." Account. Well, he just doesn't respect Pete. After he does the whole, it's, the, it's it was the Jones situation. Yes. I just feel like we have not seen a side of Ken like that. Sure. It was not menacing, but it was like – I'm trying to think of the right word for it because it was uh, no nonsense. It wasn't – he wasn't the warm Ken that we all know and love. It was like – it was plotting almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't think it was bad plotting. I think he's well, – I think, I, 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 I think, think with him. Right. I think, I, I think it was this guy just got a, a, a woman to sleep with the guy. It's gross. To help us line an account, I want nothing to do with him. Sure. I, I don't think it was scheming. He's putting his foot right. down. Right, yeah. We don't really definitely put his foot that. down, that's, sure. that's what I would mean by that. And right. So now that he has like this position of power, I think we're going to see Ken making more um, strong decisions. I think sure. he's going to be rising in the season as well. Mm -hmm. And also, we need to give Ken a bigger part. I always thought Ken was fantastic on the yeah, show. Yeah, he, he, really from, from the beginning. You know? Yeah, he was, he was awful when he was a young exec. Oh, uh, with the, in the first season with the pan yeah, yeah. That, that was in the first, that was the worst thing we in, saw. In him. the first two seasons, he was pretty tough to like. Um, as, he grew, as are the rest of the lackeys right. that were there. Yeah, he 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 grew out of it much better than Pete did. Yeah, clearly better than Harry did. Sure. Um, I still think Harry's gross. Yeah, Harry is like a pig. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like, <laughs> like, that's that's disgusting. who he is, right? Yeah, yeah. And I I don't know why his character made that arc. I mean, I I, I get it because like we kind of well, saw not him. everybody's either going to go up. You know, sure. Uh, we saw that in the first season. He was allowed married and then cheats, and all of a sudden he's been he's been yeah off the wagon since. So yeah, well, it's like when he and Don went to the Stones concert. And yeah. he was like, Ugh. you know, he's trying to get on everybody. Fifteen year old girl. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, weird. like he, even Don, who is is his own level of broken person, was like, this is really gross. Not area. crossing that line. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you next one, guys. See ya.